Good afternoon, everybody. Hope everyone's well. Um, we'll just kick off with the last section and then go into the two embargoes. Cameras already in the back. All okay to go. So I'll look to Becky or Gail. Yeah, we'll go with Gail. I'm more than happy with that. Well, we are really happy to have him. Obviously, it's a player that we have um, followed for a while now, and um, the opportunity came. We have the necessity, obviously, to have a player in the front line that is versatile enough to play in different positions. Um, he knows the league, he has enough experience here, and I think he can have immediate impact in, in the team. Yeah. Especially where the club is right now and where we are in the season. Very important and uh, we have to think short term but as well medium and long term and I think he gives all that. He's a very intelligent player. Obviously when you look at his career, what he's done in the last few years, um, he's a player that fits our way of playing for sure and um, we're happy to have him. He trained today. Did you yes. see the big gun weekend? Well, he trained today so hopefully he will be... Did you he find him get to take work done today? Sorry? Yes, I, th I, I think it is. I think he's, he's good to go. And, and you talked about like the timing was right. How much is this move about the fact there's a massive opportunity for you? And maybe we talked before about how you didn't buy in January last year and it kind of cost you towards the end of the season. How much was that on your mind when you did this deal? Well, we can do what we can do in the windows. Um, obviously, even in the summer, we're looking for a player in, in that position and, and we we weren't able to do it, so it's something that the squad needed, obviously, with the injuries of Gabby and, and Rhys, especially, we're really short in the front line, and, uh, and we needed some reinforcements, and, um, and we found in Leo an, a player that um, he fits everything that we want. And Jacob, for the back three of Des and how much would you feel you feel you need to bring in Des front and centre? Can you really look at your squad and think we cannot talk with players that we haven't finalised. Uh, when that's the case, we can announce it. No, I, we look at ourselves. I think we have more than enough to, to just look at ourselves and um, and try to focus on what we do, try to keep improving. And and we have to win football matches. And what the rest they do is, is something that we cannot control. And um, Pep spoke after the game about how maybe the players that have lost their spark, and we take it for granted that those people still go out how do you manage to keep your players so on it every game? I mean, you saw they switched to Zaka in the warm-up last week. Mm. It's, it's not easy. How do you manage it? How can you do it? It's something that we have to do every single day. And, and tomorrow I have to leave my players. I have to make sure that, uh, that my players are up to it, that they still have that desire, that hunger, and they still have something in the tummy to go on Sunday with the same ambition and energy to try to, to beat Manchester United. I continue to say what I say. We go training by training. And today we train really well, and tomorrow we try to train better than today. Thanks, Gail. Go to Becky from the Chelsea. Is there any fresh injuries on board <coughs> for this one? Not that I know of. So far, so good. Amazing. Uh, look, United on Sunday, the only gloss on the coffee paper. Motivation comes in all forms. Has your squad taken anything from the previous results in this summer? We have to learn. There were some... Uh, important lessons about that game and, and the reason why we lost it when in, in many moments we had total control of the game but we know that's one of the qualities of United when, when you are in control of the match um, the game gets away from you because they have so much individual talent they have good organization and they have many ways to create um, problems so we have to be at our best to win on, on Sunday. I don't know. Again, what happens with the other teams and results um, is still half of the league to go. So it's a lot of twists and turns still to go. Um, we have to be consistent in what we do, play the best possible way and control that. And the rest, it will, it will take care of themselves. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Mikhail. Thank you. Well, um, first things first, obviously United and Arsenal in the previous season, I think it's 
Champions League, the Champions League Group Two places this year, both in the top four, both competing for the title. And you look back at where the teams were under Ferguson and Wenger, always challenging for the title. Does it add an extra spice to this game, the fact that both Arsenal and United are challenging for that Premier League title this season? I think the history and the clashes and and the way those two clubs have competed, uh, it tells you everything that you need to know before a match. It's a huge game um, in the league, in the country, around the world, and, and we have to prepare for that. And obviously the, the table says what it says this season uh, right now, but um, our main focus is on, on being prepared for a, for a big match. What have you made of the job of Eric Ten Hag and what he's done so far at Manchester United? Really impressive. I think he's, he's turned things around uh, pretty quickly. Um, I think he he has implemented a very clear way of playing. Um, I think the players in that they bought into it, they have really good energy around the place. And um, a lot of things has changed in, in a very short period of time. So credit to him and, and the coaching and staff for what they've done. And how do you go about trying to stop someone like Marcus Rashford in the form that he's in at the minute? Yeah, it's not only him. Unfortunately, it's a lot of individuals and, and the collective organization that they have that we have to be very aware of that. And, I will try to do that, like we prepare the games um, to try to hide the the arguments that they have to try to create problem against us. And lastly, Jimmy, I wanted to ask you about Martin Odegaard as well. How, how impressed have you been with his form this mm. season and the way he's taken on the captain's armband like he has done? In a really natural way. Um, he's a still a, a really young player with huge talent, but more desire than talent still. And, and he knows that he can still get much better and, and he's in that pathway that he's enjoying um, playing for us, that he's contributing to the team in, in a really impactful way and, um, and he needs to continue to do that. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Hi, Mr. Alex. I think anyone who's watched Manchester United this season and I'm sure that's fair for you and your coaching staff as well, you know, a, a large part of that turnaround has been from, from, from Casemiro. <coughs> how, how much of a benefit is it to you that he's been coming in over him? Again, something that we can't control. He didn't play in our first game either. And, uh, and we still uh, didn't do enough to win that match. So they have, when you look at the squad, they, they have, it's just incredible. So yeah, the individual and, and again, the collective organization um, to beat any opponent in this league. And, uh, and we will plan the game knowing that he's not available, that's for sure. I know we say a lot about your squad, that it's, it's full of good characters. Obviously, what happened with Lissandro and, and Rashford getting the start, do you, do you talk to Albert Schoenberg about yeah, we talked about everybody that is connected that we know about players that we want to recruit because character is something crucial, but as well to understand um, how they are, how they behave, whether they're going to accept the role that they're going to have at the club with us and, and then personal conversations, obviously, that are very, very important as well. Sorry? Albert gave me a really, really good reference, but not for now, for, for a few years already. Hi, from Football London. You okay? Cool. Mark, can you... Oh my God, sorry. <laughs> 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 I haven't spoken for a while. Um, so, um, you can have some words that you want. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Um, so basically, I know you like versatile players. Yeah. And um, for the past, I guess, three or so years, it's been helped to build a team of technicians across the pitch. I was just wondering, is that something that was in your mind because of the Arsenal team you played in? Mm. Or well, I think the technical part is a very relevant and important aspect um, for us. I think specificity is another one that um, it really is um, really necessary in our way of playing. But as well, it's true that we need a few players that can fulfill certain positions. And Leo is, is one of them. Obviously, the skill, the composure that he has in the final third, the technical ability to associate and link with people, it's, um, it's impressive. And, and that's what we need from, our, from players especially. Thank okay, you. So that finishes the live section. We'll go to 10.30 tonight. Good return.